50,000 watts later on the engine. <laughs> This episode, join us as we leave West Palm Beach to continue south down the east coast of Florida, making several stops along the way. We meet up with friends in Fort Lauderdale and Miami and do some sightseeing as we wait for a weather window to head back to the Bahamas. This is Palm Beach. We're sailing around Peanut Island. These massive sailing yachts are so fun to see, and all the mega and super yachts. Lots of eye candy as we travel down the ICW. Laser beamed in the eyeball. <laughs> Cooking. Chicken. Chicken thighs, sauteed onions, steak fries. Barbecue. 50,000 watts later on the ninja. <laughs> <laughs> We have any battery power left, but we have food. <laughs> Food's more important. Well, maybe not. <laughs> That's four oceans out cleaning and protecting our oceans and marine life by removing plastics. Check them out at fouroceans.com. Tova's actually making a wake. Going to the next room. Four knots, but I went four knots, but I think you need to go about four and a half knots to five. This trip down the ICW, we figured out that it was much easier if we do a lot of math the night before and write it all down on one sheet of paper so you know exactly what time the bridge is open, what speed you need to travel between each bridge to get there at just the right time. Yachting capital of the world. We made it to Fort Lauderdale and dropped the hook and stayed a few nights. Target's still going. 
given us two minutes. <laughs> you ready to be out of the ICW? <laughs> Our good friend John Grimm was down around Boca Chita and he sailed up to Fort Lauderdale and anchored at the jetties for the night, just to be able to sail with us down to Miami the next morning. We both had sailboats on Grand Lake in Oklahoma and now are both out here sailing around the ocean. Today we sailed through Stiltsville. In 1933, a Miami man that was famous for his chowder, Crawfish Eddie, constructed a wooden shack on stilts one mile offshore. Built during the last gasp of Prohibition, the shack soon attracted drinkers and gamblers. More were built, both residential and commercial, originally consisting of 27 structures. There are only six or seven left. Stay right here, Archie. You can throw it, but let me get out of the way. Long arms. Time to head to the Biscayne Bay Sandbar. This is Boca Chita Key, purchased by Mark Honeywell, founder of Honeywell Corporation and his wife in 1937. Their main home was in Miami and this was to be their holiday resort. 
Between 1937 and 1940, they built many structures and the harbor on the island, including a non-working lighthouse, a pavilion for picnics, generator room, garage, an arch bridge, and added a cannon that they would shoot off to welcome guests as they arrived. After his wife died from an accidental fall on the island, he sold the island. It is now part of the Biscayne National Park of Florida. Thanks so much for watching and hit that subscribe button so we can see you next Thursday. And a special thanks to all of our subscribers who have already done that. It means a lot.